Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Sierra, and today I have a very special video with a very special bag, and that bag is the Pochette Mati. And if you have been following either myself or Sam um, from Snape HBP, you may be a little bit confused about this bag. Um, I recently purchased this from Sam, and um, the most recent video that I have just posted was an unboxing of this bag. Um, but shortly after I purchased it, um, and I'll let Sam tell most of the story because it's it's her story to tell. But after she purchased it, I could just really tell that she missed it. And so I messaged her and I said, Sam, I cannot keep this bag knowing that, that you really miss it. And um, I told her that I would sell it back to her, absolutely. Um, I bought this right after I bought my Retiro in Noir from Wendy at the Loving 50. And um, thank you, Wendy, and I'm loving that bag. So when I bought this, I bought it full well knowing I was going to have to sell either this or the Retiro. And so just knowing how much Sam missed it, I just, there's no way that I could have kept it. Sam is one of the sweetest people that I have met in this community, and she just, she just has a good heart. Um, I mean, I would have sold this back to anybody who I knew who, you know, really missed it and had regrets, but especially to Sam, she is just, a, just a good person. She's just salt of the earth. And so I, I basically was just like, I'm sending this back to you, I'm not keeping it. And, um, I kind of feel like that was almost the universe's way of making the decision for me on which bag I should keep. And while I really, really love this bag and I think I would like to have it someday in my collection, um, probably the Retiro is better suited for me at this time in my life anyways. Um, and the strap on this, which is right here, um, I wish that it was just like a little bit longer because I am plus size and a little boobalicious. So um, it was just a little on the short side for me. So it was it was not meant to be my bag. It's going to be sent back to Sam. But I did ask her, I said, before I send it back to you, would you mind if I shoot a couple of videos <laughs> with it? Um, I just wanted to compare it to some bags that I have so that I could um, share with you guys because when I was searching for videos for this, or when I've searched for videos for other bags, I really love to see comparison videos because if you have one of those bags, it's so helpful to see it side by side in a video so that you can get a better sense of it. So I thought I would do a comparison video between the Push Up Mati and my Retiro, and I'm also going to do another video of the Push Up Mati and Mati, Mati, oh my God, I just can't, it just doesn't stick in my head. The Pichette Meti. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna do a video of this in my Speedy in the Empreinte Leather. So, that was a lengthy intro. You guys, if you subscribe to my channel, you are gonna know that I'm a little bit of a chatterbox. So, <laughs> long intros, just prepare yourself. So let's get into it. What I wanted to show you was just a super quick overview of the bag. Because I haven't used it, I'm not really gonna give a review on how it wears. I'm more gonna give on the size and what can fit. I'm gonna show you what I put in here versus what I put in my Retiro. So here is the Pochette Mati. It has this button closure right here where it pops open. And then on the inside, and I'm sure you guys have seen a million videos of this, but there's the pocket here, the pocket here, and then a little slip pocket back here. And I think this is what I love the most about this bag. I just love the different compartments because it just helps to keep you organized. Um, and then you just go right back here and it's a little hard to close it when it's empty. So I'm just not gonna push it because it's not my bag. So um, there is the Vachetta handle up here so you can hold it handheld. And then there is the strap, which I'm not gonna put on because I'm gonna bag this up pretty soon for Sam. Um, and then there is the back zipper pocket, which can fit. Oh, I just was gonna put my phone in it and then I'm like, I'm filming with my phone. So, but I have the iPhone 6S Plus and it fits in here just fine. So, I'm gonna put a couple things in here and then I'm going to transfer it to the Retiro. No, I'm gonna do it the other way around. So let's put this down. 
and now let me show you the Retiro quickly. So the Retiro you can already see is much bigger. Um, it has this strap that you can take on and off and then it also has these top handle straps. So you can carry this um, on the crook of your arm or hold it like this or wear this on your shoulder. So it's a little, I don't wanna say, I'm looking at the pushette. Um, you can't put the pushette on the crook, crook of your arm. You can wear it crossbody um, or kind of on your shoulder or just hold it by the top of the strap. Whereas this bag, you can put it on your shoulder. I've seen a couple people wear it crossbody. That would not work on my frame. I think you'd have to be really petite to do that. Um, so then you can wear this just holding it like this or wear it on the crook of your arm. And then I love this bag because it's so large, but I also love that it's just so carefree because of the black leather. That's really one of the big selling points for me because I'm just terrified of using anything with Fashetta um, with two young kids and being um, a very clumsy person <laughs> myself. Um, the inside also has a microfiber suede -ish interior. Oh, and I left this in it. This is my little carrier bag. Um, but it is black, whereas in the Pichette Miti it is brown. And this is kind of an example of one of the cons of this bag, is you can see it's just an enormous black hole. Um, which is good because it fits a lot, but bad because you're just like, where is my stuff? So it's it's a little bit tricky to find things sometimes. So I'm going to load this up and then show you what I fit in here and then transfer to the pochette matee and so you can see what fits and what doesn't fit. So I just did a video on all my SLGs so they're right over here. So the first thing I'm going to use is my Tory Burch cosmetic bag and I'm going to put that in here and let's just load it up and because you can fit a lot in here. So I'm going to do my Longchamp cosmetic pouch both of those fit in there nicely. Um, I'm gonna do my Cruise wallet, which needs to go to the Louis Vuitton doctor. Mini pochette. Let's see, fit that there. I mean, I think I can fit probably every SLG that I own in here. Here's my sunglasses case. Um, we've got my clay pochette and the vernis, my multi-cart wallet, and my um, clay pochette and Damier Eben. I'm going to put all those in there. We've got my Longchamp coin purse, my Louis Vuitton round coin purse. And then we've got my six key ring holder with my Unikitty and my carrier bag. And all of that fit, and I could still fit like a scarf or a sweater on the top. Let me move my sunglasses pouch so you can see. Um, but everything is in there, and you can see like right up to here, I could still fit stuff even with this in it. So I'm trying to see if I have a scarf around. I don't, but you could easily fit a sweater or a light jacket in here with all of that stuff in here. So that is a nice thing about this bag. It fits a ton of stuff. It is very heavy right now and I would not carry it this full because I don't know if you can see, but it's pulling right here. And if I carried it by this strap, you can see that it's pulling right here. A little more yeah you can see it's totally pulling right here so like I said I, I wouldn't um, keep it that full so now I want to show you what can fit in the pochette matee and I'm going to let's see full-size wallet it barely barely fits and it takes up the whole space up here so I would not use that yeah it's like it's really hard to get in and out. So, does not really fit a full size wallet. Definitely not going to be fitting any cosmetic pouches. Um, let's see. Poor Sam is probably like, don't shove that in my baby. Doesn't fit. 
I'm being gentle, I promise. <laughs> Let's see. It does fit a mini pochette. So that's nice, you can fit that in there. And let's see what else. So we can fit a mini pochette in there. My um, multi-cart will fit. We could do my clay pochette and the round coin purse. I'm just gonna slip those into the front pockets. Um, what else? My keys with Unikitty. We can fit that right here in the middle. And another key pouch. We can fit that right there in the front. Let's see if that will close. That's really pushing it. You could maybe close it, but these are known for having glazing issues right here, and so I really wouldn't want to push it. So that's probably pushing it. So let's take out the mini pochette and see. And so what I've done is taken out the mini pochette and moved the clay pochette into the middle here. And that closes perfectly. It's not stretching here. Um, and you could put more in here if you wanted, but I don't want to stretch Sam's bag. And I, you know, I wouldn't really want to push the limits of this either if it were my bag. Again, just because there is the glazing issues. So let's just see though, for the sake of trying it out, if you can fit a mini pochette and not very much else in here. So I'm putting the mini pochette here. And then we'll put the multi-cart next to it. And you can see I've put the pochette, the mini pochette in vertically. And let's just pretend like this is our keys. So we'll put that in the front and maybe this as well in the front. So let's see if we can close that. And perfect. So you can fit a mini pochette in here with some items, you just can't put quite as much. So I had to take out these two items to really make it work. And so let's just open this again. And so I'm gonna take these out and then show you what I could not fit, which is quite a bit. So this is what I fit in there comfortably. And everything in here is what I could not fit in the pochette mati that I could fit in the retiro. So this is a ton of stuff that doesn't fit into the pochette mati. My husband and little baby just walked in. <laughs> so if you're looking for space in a bag, really the retiro is obviously the way to go. I mean, here, let me. Let's, let's shut this so that you can see. And so I don't tear it. There we go. So I'm just going to hold it side by side for you to see. So the pochette mati is obviously several inches shorter. It's not nearly as wide. That's really where you get the bang for your buck with the retiro. It really has a wide base. And then you can see in the bottom as well. So you can see that they're two totally different bags. And for me, in choosing between these two, really the main two factors were, this is a lot bigger so I can fit a lot of stuff. Um, right now I'm toting around stuff for myself and sometimes I like to just throw in a few things for the baby. So this is a really good size for that, for just hauling around a ton of stuff. Um, it doesn't have Vachetta, which even though this has a monogram strap, which let me show you again, 
So it has the monogram strap, so you don't have to worry about the fascetta there. It's only here and on these little side tabs and that little front tab. Um, but even still with that, it just made me a little bit nervous. Um, and then there's the size. I really, really want to downsize, and I think in in like my heart of hearts, I'm like, I don't want to carry around a ton of stuff. I want to downsize. I want to have just a simple bag that I can just um, grab and go, and I think eventually I would like to have this bag or a bag like this that's just crossbody and compact, but I just don't think that at this time in my life that this really fits what I need. I think the Retiro definitely kind of checks off more boxes for me. So I'm sending it back to Sam and I know that she's gonna be very, very happy to have this back with her. Um, it's kind of like, I was telling her, I feel like this is like the sisterhood of the traveling pants. It's the traveling push-up Mati. <laughs> Um, so it got to have a little vacation in California. It's probably gotten a little more patina because it's sunny out here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't take out it out in the sun. I swear, Sam. <laughs> Anyways, um, so thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, unfortunately, because this is not my bag, I won't be able to take any pictures or any more videos with this, but um, having kind of played around with it, I can definitely answer any questions you may have. So I hope that you enjoyed this, and um, I will see you again soon. Bye.